Hey guys, this is Peter from Nice Wheels, and uh, welcome to our custom Brompton folding bike configurator. This is the easiest and fastest way to go through and build your own custom Brompton folding bike step by step. So now that we've chosen your handlebar type, the next thing we want to move on to is gearing. Uh, picking the right gearing is important so that you have a bike to match the terrain you want to ride it in. Brompton offers four different gearing styles, the simple and like very sleek looking one speed. You have your two speed, it's also a good lightweight option. The three speed is the most popular kind of all around bike and the six is more long distance or steeper hills oriented. So let me come around and show you each one of the bikes in detail. This is the very sleek, simple, single speed, no gears. The two speed has just this single shifter here, low and a high gear. The three speed has a starting up hills, intermediate and high speed gear. And the six speed has two shifters, a two and a three for a combination of six. So that's about all there is to it with gearing. Uh, if you need more information, check out those detailed videos below. Otherwise, you can make your selection and press continue to keep going. Okay, so you got your single speed here. And this bike is just like really clean, really beautiful. You don't have any shifters to worry about. You don't have those extra cabling going on. So you actually have a pretty low maintenance setup. Uh, you can see the hub in the back there is clean. There's not much going on. So with the single speed, all you do is you pedal and that's it. So there you have it, single speed, clean, good looking, low maintenance, easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the two speed. The two speed option is great as a lightweight commuter, just getting around town kind of bike because it gives you one gear for starting up and for hills and then the other gear for cruising. Now the drive system here is great. Um, it's a two sprocket system unique to Brompton which keeps the chain alignment nearly perfect at all times. So you can see when I shift to my starting up in hills gear, the chain is still straight and it remains that way as I shift to my cruising gear. So that keeps it a very low maintenance system and also very lightweight. Okay, so let's take a look at our three speed. The three speed is a cool option because you've got three evenly spaced gears. It's nice and simple because you only have one derailleur still. Uh, all you do is have one gear for starting up and for hills, one gear uh, intermediate for when you go a bit faster, and a high gear for speed. So you probably noticed I was shifting without pedaling there, and what allows you to do that is the three-speed Sturmy Archer hub in the back. Now that hub is also cool because all the gears are contained inside, so you never have any problems with water contamination or dirt from the road. It's a really low maintenance setup. So let me show you again there a detail. We'll get the uh, wheel moving. Now I'm going to stop pedaling and I'll shift all the way down to the low gear, second, and third. That's about it. This is our most popular choice, especially for city riders. And uh, if you don't really know what to get, the three speed is probably a safe choice. Your six speed is a pretty cool combination, uh, unique to Brompton, of a three speed internal hub in the back and uh, a two speed derailleur. Now that system is great because it allows the bike to remain compact. All the gears are sealed inside there and it's very low maintenance. And uh, the two speed derailleur keeps the chain alignment perfect so you don't have a lot of wear on your drivetrain. Uh, now let's go in closer and show you exactly how that works. Um, I'll shift first to our lowest gear here. And then you can see that chain moving in and out of the internal hub. That's your three speed shifter. And then the two speed derailleur, you can see your little winged shifter there moving the chain back and forth and the chain tensioner moving. And that's about all there is to it. So again, the six speed is great for hillier areas, longer distance riding, and it gives you a lot more option for gearing.